What's up guys, Valence Ring here, and I wanted to bring you a special video relating to some damage mechanics and how battles are won and lost, etc. But I want to do a special case study, and this was a kind of a recommendation by the running man on my Discord server. He had an idea that you know he wanted to some clarification on, and this is this is all about troop damage up and troop damage taken down. It's a very specific stat that a lot of people actually ask about because it doesn't really specify exactly what it is or what it means. So if we go into here and we look at the glory level of our buildings, we'll notice this uh, glory refinement. You'll see mine's at level seven. This is one of the stats that I always try to push up and I'll explain why uh, as this video progresses. But Basically, we see here that there are two stats, troop damage up and troop damage taken down. Now, these aren't very large uh, percentages, but I do know that we can get the glory refinement to level 30, which then increases the, I believe 30 is the refinement level. Then we get an increase at 0.5 per refinement level at 30 equals 15%. So that's at glory level, uh, refinement level 30, um, you're going to get a troop damage up of 15% and a troop damage taken down of 15%. This is also stats that are in Nova. And if we actually go in here, let me collect my stuff. But if we go in here, we'll see this troop technique level 30. Now troop technique, you can see this is the max level. I'm not there yet. You have to have a level 60 Nova, but the troop technique is plus 15. And then the troop armor is troop damage taken down. The max level is 15 uh, or plus 15. It's, it's level 30. It's 15 percent so if you had nova maxed out and glory refinement maxed out then your total troop damage up and troop damage taken down would be plus 30. so i'm going to use that as a case study and there are other ways to get those values up in the research center i'm not there yet um, but in military 2 you'll see troop technique and troop armor and this of course it increases this as well so it'll go even higher than 30 percent but for the course uh for this case study, I'm only going to do the 30%. So many people ask, what is troop, you know, technique and troop armor? What is troop damage up and troop damage taken down? How does that actually play out in battle? Well, first of all, let me say there is some math involved. So I apologize for that in advance. And if you're not a big fan of math, that's why I'm doing the math for you. Don't worry, I make it as easy to follow as possible, but it is required to technically understand this. There is no better way to explain it except through example. And maybe there is, maybe I'm just not good enough, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I created a little slideshow, so let's get right into it. Right, guys so I'm here and with the, I made this little slideshow to kind of illustrate this case study now I do want to say some of this is speculation because we don't have all the information it is not apparent or clear some of the information and there are unknown variables and I'll talk a little bit about that as I go but please understand this is this is speculation I'm not a, one of the devs and I have no idea how they did things but this is how I would do them and this is my understanding of the battle mechanics based upon the math that I do and what I've seen and what I know about programming so if we look at a base T11 fighters, we're going to do two teams of T11 fighters head to head with different stats to see how it plays out and what you need to know about troop damage up and troop damage taken down. So we're going to use base T11 fighters. And if you look inside your um, camps, you'll see the fighter camp, the attack, the bars for T11 is five bars. The defense is nine, hit points is nine and speed is six. So these are the base stats. Now we don't know what those values are. So I have to speculate and make a guess. I would imagine it's an arbitrary integer between one and 10, and I'm going to guess eight. And the reason I'm guessing eight, there's a couple reasons. One is because I do know that this is a Chinese home-based company, 37 games, and I believe it is, I should say, and 
I know that eight is considered a lucky number. It's also beneficial because it's not one or 10, which can create some, some too easy calculations so that it will be too consistent and there won't be enough diversity in the calculations. So I would pick a high number close to 10 and if I was, you know, Chinese, maybe I would think eight is a lucky number and I would pick eight. So that being said, T11 fighters, five bars, I'm gonna calculate that as each bar is worth eight uh, points. And then that's how we're going to calculate the stats of each individual fighter. So as you can see, it says I'm multiplying by an arbitrary integer and you can make any integer and it's probably going to work out. So it's not as important what that integer is, but we don't know it. It is an unknown variable. So really quick, before I dive in and get deeper into the math, I just want to make a point. So as far as what is troop damage up and troop damage taken down. So the way a battle is calculated is that all of these stats, these base stats are calculated for each army and that comes up with a total stat and then your boosts are applied. So your troop attack up, your troop defense up, all of those things are applied to these base stats and then after those base stats are calculated, you come up with another number and then you compare those. And then after that comparison, attack is going to go against defense and defense, there's a, a, another arbitrary value that we don't know that we calculate uh, a percentage of, of defense based upon how much damage is actually mitigated based upon defense. Then, once all of those values are done, we have actual values of damage. That damage is then applied to hit points, and if the hit points fall below a certain threshold, then there's a kill, a wound, or a casualty. And then, after that, is when you understand the, how the battle works. But where does troop damage up and troop damage taken down come into effect? That is after the damage value is calculated. So once the value is calculated for attack versus defense, then troop damage up is applied to that attack value to increase the attack value, and the troop damage taken down is applied to the incoming damage, and it reduces that damage, and that's how those stats are calculated. So those get applied after the battle, or after the initial calculations. So again, here's the base stats. I know it's complicated, but it's really not. So those, these are the base stats. We got the bars and everything. So let's go ahead and apply those. So T11 fighters that have actual values, just a single unit, no boost supplied, have an actual value, assumed value of uh, 40 for attack, 72 for defense, 72 hit points, and 48 speed. Now you might say that doesn't sound like a lot. Well, it doesn't have to be a lot because we're also going to be dealing with boost percentages. And as you may have seen from some heavy might players, you have two, 3,000 percent increases to some of these values. So that's really what you're basing it off of. So you'll also notice that I have down here the adjusted defense. So the adjusted defense equals defense times 0.3 and this equals the damage mitigated. So defense in and of itself as a number is a ranking of how well uh, a troop defends against an attack but it's not an actual value of reduction of damage. Now, we can't do one-to-one. -one. We might be able to, but I do believe it's an arbitrary integer, uh, it's not an integer, an arbitrary number between 0.1 and 1.0. So it could be anything up to one times, um, but it's probably going to be very low on the spectrum. I chose 0.3 as my arbitrary number simply because I do believe that around a third of mitigation is a normal kind of normal ish uh, amount for defense mitigating damage so what this means is basically is that you're going to multiply your defense your total defense after stats times 0.3 and this is going to be how much damage you're actually blocking so you know like i said if if you're doing you know 100 and you multiply by 0.3 you're only going to be mitigating 30 actual attack damage so Let's let's actually look at the blue team and the red team. So here are the stats, the boost stats for the blue team versus the red team. So as we can see up top here, the blue team has plus 1500 percent 
troop boosts. Now, we're just assuming that we add all the boosts together and this is the number that we came up with and it's across the board for all the stats. And the red team has a plus 2,000%. Now, that's a 500% increase. That should be a, a, an easy battle, right? But as the caveat, as the test case, what we're going to do is we're going to give blue team the 30% damage up and 30% damage taken down uh, uh, boost stat. And we're going to see how that plays out in comparison to the troop boosts. So 500% difference in troop boosts, but a 30% damage up and 30% damage taken down boost. How does that work out? So if we were to go ahead and we're just going to be focusing for this case study, attack and defense. So for attack, 1500% of the 40 is 600. And that's for the blue team. 2000% is going to be attack of 800. And defense for the blue team is 1080. And defense for the red team is 1440. So you can see I'm only calculating the boost stats, the 1500 and the 2000 right now. The troop damage up and troop damage taken down are taken into account after the calculations are made and after a damage value is assessed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to adjust the defense. So we're going to take that defense value and we're actually going to calculate, well, how much defense, how much hit points or, or damage does that uh, stat actually mitigate? And what, we, what I came up with, multiplying by 0.3, we're looking at an adjusted defense for the blue team of 324. So this means that any incoming damage is going to be reduced by 324. For the red team, uh, they have better, better boosts the adjusted defense is 432. So you can see this is a pretty big difference. Uh, the red team is going to block 432 incoming damage, while the blue team is only going to block 324. If you also take into consideration the additional attack, that's a pretty big difference. So what we can see here is the blue team, uh, right below that you'll see 600 minus the 432 equals 168 damage. This is the damage that is actually going to land. It's actually going to hit and this is what's going to be applied to hit points correct so for the red team we have 800 damage but only 324 is blocked so this means there's 476 damage actually getting through and this makes a difference of 308 damage for the red team's advantage so they're doing 308 more damage per attack or per round however you want to calculate it and that's per troop Okay, so you multiply that by 400,000 troops or whatnot, and you can start to see how this might seem very overpowered. So this is at the point right now, after these values are calculated, we know how much damage is incoming and outgoing. So now is when troop damage up and troop damage taken down takes effect. So let's go ahead and multiply the troop damage up and the troop damage taken down. You'll see here, and it's a little bit of a spoiler because I have it all on one card, but you'll notice that 168 times 1.3, which is the same thing as saying increase it by 0.3 or 30%, you're going to get from 168 to 218. And then if you take the red team's damage and reduce it because of the troop damage taken down by 30%, that means that it's only times 0.7 okay so it's multiplied by 70 percent because you're removing 30 then you'll come up with 333 so the blue team's damage went up to 218 and the damage that they're taking went down to 333 for a total difference of 115 so you went from a total difference of 308 to a total difference of 115 this is a much, much closer battle. Now, hit points weren't affected. So that's still interesting to note. The red team still has more power than the blue team. And I would hypothesize that the red team is going to win this battle, all other things considered equally, with just these stats. So the pre-boost damage difference equals 308. The after-boost damage difference equals 115. That is a huge jump, and you can see the value of adding these stats at the end. So it makes the effect stronger at a lower percentage. 
So to clarify, if you calculate after the damage is calculated and boosted up 30%, it's way larger of an increase and decrease than if you were to calculate that 30% pre-battle so if i just increased my you know attack and defense by 30 percent it's not going to be as significant as these stats so that's why troop damage up and troop damage down are such important stats and why most people don't understand them is because you have to break down the math to see an actual comparison so comparing a 500 percent boost difference with only a 30 percent troop damage up and troop damage taken down boost you'll notice a significant change in the outcome of the battle chances are the red team is still going to win and this is of course is fighter versus fighter so there is no you know bonus uh attack which is another value that we don't have the information for so that's everything guys I, I i know it's a lot of information and i know it might not be the easiest to explain but i wanted to give you that information as best as possible and the easy answer is is the stats are calc the boosts are calculated first then once we have a damage value troop damage up is taken into account and troop damage down is taken into account and that this 115 is the actual value that finally lands which is much better than 308 so Definitely improve those stats. That's why they're the hardest stats to improve, and that's why they're the least amount per level increase at only 0.5. Because a 0.5 difference might not be a much might not be much of a difference, but you add that up enough times, and you can get significant result changes. That's everything, guys. I hope this video helped. Give it a big thumbs up if it did. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, of course. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.